<laughs> it's the Back Lot Express Restaurant. I'm gonna give it a little brief walkthrough and try something out to eat here and see how it goes. I did peek inside pretty quickly and it looked like a cool place. It's like you need outside or inside if you want. I will definitely be eating inside. It is definitely too toasty out here right now. But pretty nice. Definitely unique. It's right next to the Indiana Jones um, show, fun show. Pretty cool. Been meaning to eat here for a while. Pretty awesome. And how can I not eat here and not get the hamburger? Now, let's see. Looks like the Royal Guard Burger, 1349. I'll pan through it quickly. You can see the prices. And I'm gonna order something, and I'll do a little bit more of a walkthrough of the place. Looks like you can see to sit over there, and then sit over there, which is where I am going to sit. So I'll see you in a minute. I'll order something and let you know what I think. I want to show this. This is an actual, well, it's supposed to be an actual prop from the Roger Rabbit movie. I see some pictures right here. Let me show you. That's, uh, what is it, Bob Hoskins, I think his name is? Driving at the wheels, not here, unfortunately. But I don't think it was attached, anyways. This is what they made it look like. Definitely remember that scene. Pretty cool. And it looks like there is some another picture to over there. It's located in the Back Lot Express restaurant at Walt Disney World um, Hollywood Studios. It looks like, yeah, I bet you he would sit there with a fake wheel and the person who's driving, yeah, would sit back there. Okay. Makes sense. But pretty darn cool. It's supposed to be an actual prop. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. I really should see if I'm watching it again. It's been a while. It's located in this little corner here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I decided to get the number two, which was the one-third uh, pound Agnes bacon cheeseburger. It comes with fries. It's like $11.49, I think. I bought the drink because uh, you get unlimited refills, which you have over there. You get all the ketchup and uh, you get tea there. It looks like you have hot chocolate, coffee. What I like about this is we all you can eat or all you can drink one because not every restaurant here has that so I'm definitely gonna film a walkthrough of this place and um, I'll film it more in a minute. But I'll give this a try and I'll even let you know what I think. Alright, I'll see you in a minute.
I really find cool about this place. Basically, it's modeled after like a warehouse slash mechanic shop that would be in the back of like a movie studio. This is really cool. I think the decoration is just awesome. I bet a lot of people don't stop to pay attention as much. Look at the different cards here with different like names on it. Pretty awesome. And this is probably supposed to be like a fake office manager's um, room for the shop for this warehouse. So I think it's kind of neat. Okay, they were really thinking when they were thinking about detail. There's the different condiments. Get dressing, uh, blue cheese, ranch, I think, barbecue sauce, stuff like that. There's different pots. I really like how this place is decorated. Look at all these different pictures. Pretty awesome. You probably all have to do with movies too, I bet. <laughs> I think the decorations are really neat. Cool pictures. I really like the lobby. Let me quickly show you the other end. Now there's no bathrooms in here, unfortunately. There's some next door. Detail. 
Look at all the cool stuff they put in there. Pretty awesome. So everywhere as you look, you see something that um, just adds to the place. There's another one of those fake offices. Cool. I'm going to try lots of these things. This is pretty neat. And of course, they make it look like there's water when there's really not. Fake, fake lockers. Nice mural scene. Oh, this is an awesome place. I like how they did all this decoration. It's raining outside, but I already showed you the outside. And there's the um, lobby again. The Backlot Express restaurant. I hope you enjoy this walkthrough, and I'm actually going to give my uh, food report at the end, right after this. I think I'll be, this is all I'll be filming of um, this restaurant for now. Any uh, questions, please let me know. Alright, see you in a second, I'll let you know about the food. Alright. Just wanted to show you the little handheld um, menu. I ended up getting that, like I said. Really good. Someone's going to get this, but basically it's $2 more for a little bit of um, beef brisket on it. And it, almost the bun almost looks black, which reminds me of the um, that black bun Whopper they had at Burger King. But I thought, nah, I'm just going to get um, regular one. Well, maybe I'll get that another time. I'm sure I'll eat here again. show you. Alright, I'm back. This is going to be my final report on the Back Lot Express restaurant at Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. Uh, first I want to talk about uh, the uh, meal I got. I got the number two, which was the one-third pound Angus bacon cheeseburger. You either gave it carrot sticks or french fries. I got french fries, obviously, which you saw. I liked it. It was nice and juicy. I thought it was a good size. Um, the bacon, let's see, yeah, the bacon and the cheese was really good. Uh, what I thought was interesting, they put the the, ha the whole entire hamburger on top of the lettuce and then the tomato and then they then there was the bun, the meat, and everything else. So I guess maybe they did that because maybe some people won't eat it with with the lettuce or with the tomato, which is good. Of course, I think I don't care for tomatoes; they're they're icky to me. But I definitely like the lettuce. And the lettuce, piece of lettuce I had was actually pretty big. They gave actually a good amount of fries. Sometimes some of those places you go there, they're a little skimpy on the fries. Not this place. It was definitely a great choice. And I really liked it, the overall the meal. Uh, I almost got, which would be their considered number one, which was the Royal Guard Burger. I seen someone get it there. It was basically one third pound Agnes beef burger. Same size and as mine. This one had barbecue brisket on it and pepper jack uh, cheese, and it was served either with carrot sticks or french fries like uh, mine was. I seen someone get it. It did have a black bun, and it did have the um, the barbecue brisket on it. I've had that on a hamburger before. It's okay. I don't mind it, but I still prefer um, a good old-fashioned cheeseburger. And the one I got was $2 less than the Royal Guard Burger anyways. So... I was pretty satisfied with the number two. That was kind of interesting. They had it with a black bun. It reminds me of that that black uh, Halloween bun Whopper they had at um, uh, Burger King. I think what? Uh, yeah, it was over a year. Yeah, I don't think it was last September. I think it was the September before that. Was it? Well, I'm not sure. But if you check my playlist, you see it was. I did do a review video on that too. But anyways, the food was great, and I liked it that the. Um, 
the drink station was self-serving. You didn't have to go up and possibly get a refill. And some of those restaurants there, they don't do refills. So it's definitely good to be able to get your own. And then, of course, I showed you all where the condiments were. And they had uh, a couple different dressings for the salad, which I think they, yeah, they did have a salad. Yeah. Well, let me go over it. Yeah, you know what? I wasn't going to go over the menu that much, but luckily I wrote everything down and I have it here. So I'm going to go over it with you. Okay, I went over the number one and the number two. Uh, the number three was a dark side chicken and waffles. You get chicken and Vader Vader waffles with maple syrup. Basically, the waffles have an imprintation into the waffles of Darth Vader. It's pretty cool. Number four was chicken breast nuggets, eight pieces, served with carrot sticks or French fries. Number five was a Capri sandwich, marinade, fresh mozzarella, vine ripe tomatoes, herb cheese pesto, and argilla on a crusty baguette. Serve with carrot sticks or French fries. Galactic chicken salad. That's probably what that was definitely what the dressing was for. Mixed greens with chicken, crisp wonton, and black bean relish with avocados and vinegar. Oh, one thing I want to mention about this, the uh, drinks. They also, like I said, I, I did show it, but I want to go over it quickly. They, you had a choice, I think, of coffee and tea, too. Sweet and unsweet uh, tea. It's good. Not a few that has the self-serve drinks, don't all of them have that. Number seven was the chili cheese all beef hot dog, which was served with coleslaw and choice of carrot sticks and french fries. Desserts was a chocolate mousse, uh, Darth Vader chocolate cupcake with peanut butter buttercream, and a BB-8 lemon cupcake with vanilla buttercream. I don't know all the prices for these. I did show it quickly when I was there. I filmed it, so you better look at it then. The kids' meals, actually, the kids' meals choices, there are only a couple of them. Some of the other restaurants, at least they have three or four choices, but the kids... Then they had Smucker's Uncrushables, and then they had a Dark Side Chicken and Waffles. Basically, I think the same as the adult, but I think it is a, um, maybe smaller. Or the one that they mentioned is number three. Maybe that's the same for adult and same for children, but usually the size difference and the price difference between the two. Of course, they had a Power Pack thing. Um, uh, Day and Danimal smoothie, apple wedges, carrot sticks, goldfish crackers, apple cinnamon snack bar, and choice of small low fat milk or dessert, small deciding water. So, yeah, I guess technically they do have three if you include that. Of course, the beverages, you know, they have the fountain drinks, they have the smart water coffee, hot cocoa or hot tea, uh, milk, chocolate milk, orange juice, apple juice. Then they had some um, alcohol, that's your thing, not really for me. Uh, Afterburner, um, Angry Orchard, Chris Apple, Hard Cider, Sea Dog, Sunfish Ale, Samuel Adams, Rebel IPA, uh, Jungling, Bud Light, Basil, Del Sol, Sangria, and Woodbridge by Robert Madavi. And so the back lot specialties was a frozen golden margarita, Padawan Limeade, non alcoholic, and a BB 8 souvenir sipper. Uh, served with fountain beverage, and I've seen those on sale at other places. Thought about getting actually one of them. They're kind of expensive. But that is the menu, and like I, I gave my opinion of the food. Now, the restaurant itself I thought was really cool. Basically, it's modeled after a garage slash warehouse for like a production company in Hollywood. You had places where it looked like they fixed like cars and things like that, or they built props. They had some props there. I, I think the decorations on the walls was cool. Made you feel like you're an actual warehouse slash mechanic shop the details like I pointed out I filmed some of the things that they had there like they had this one thing where they had the cards that you know the old I, maybe they still use them the old fashioned cards you would slip in the machine and punch they had um, a thing full of them and I showed them they had like individual names on each I mean the, the amount of detail they had and it looked like a fake office but it looked real enough like you would have like the mechanic head mechanic or office manager or whatever there they had two of them I showed a close-up of the one. I couldn't do the other because there was too many people too close to it. Then they had supplies around, like things to fix cars or cans of paint. Just a detail, which a lot of that stuff people don't look at. And they had bulletin boards or like production the schematics or notes or pictures for different movies, like I showed a little bit with the um, the Roger Rabbit uh, item I showed. And it, what I mean by that, they had um, the car that Bob Hoskins sat in. Well, you know in that section when he's in the cartoon car? Well, he actually, you know, in real life he was in a cartoon car. But he was in like this motorbike or whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Well, the actual one that he rode in was there, which I showed in the video. You probably you saw before you see this part. I put this part at the end. And you actually could sit in it. 
really cool. And you saw where the actual real driver was, which was behind him, which is a cool prop that you could touch and sit in. Might not be there forever because um, a lot of the, you used to have a lot more Roger Rabbit things around. A lot of it's gone. Actually, you want to look at more information about what's still there with Roger Rabbit. There's a great YouTuber by the name of uh, World of Micah. And he just uploaded one, I think, uh, let's see, well, it's now after midnight, so it would have been yesterday. Uh, he showed some of the different, uh, what few things left over from Roger Rabbit. They were going to do a major thing on that, but they never did. And now they've been slowly getting rid of it. There's only a few things there. Uh, but he showed a lot of the, those things. Actually, I found out about that car there at Backlot Specs by one of his videos from like a month or two ago. I probably wouldn't have known about it or wouldn't have known for quite a while that it was actually there. So make sure you check out his channel, World of Micah. I'll put the link below uh, in the description section. But he does a lot of great videos with theme parks and things like that. So Mike, if you, Micah, if you watch this, thanks for um, uh, doing that, that video about a month ago and then your newest one. I found it actually very interesting. You learn a lot. You tell you, you can learn things from a lot of great YouTubers every day. And there's so much, especially with some place like Disney. You always, always learn new things. There's always these little details that a lot of times you would not have known, probably would not have discovered it, at least when you did, if it wasn't for great YouTubers like Micah and others who point out these certain things. Um, but anyways, Tobacco Lock Express I thought was a really cool restaurant. I like the food. I like the decorations. It's a place I definitely want to eat at again, and eventually I will. There's other restaurants, though, at Disney I'm going to do first, because I'm, every time I want to do a new restaurant, I want to do a walkthrough, show you what it looks like, and um, order a meal, and let you know what I think of the food. Hopefully I don't um, go through the restaurants too quickly. I don't want the video to be too long, as this video might be too long as it is. So I know some people out there like them a little bit shorter. They want the information a lot more condensed. So I try to go through it quicker, but not so quick that you don't miss things. Because restaurants like um, like the Backlot Express, there's a lot of detail and a lot of things to look at. And there's going to be a lot of things that, without looking closely, you're going to miss. And a lot of that you have to really be there to see. But I like to give at least an idea to you what a certain restaurant looks like. So that's what I've been um, hoping to accomplish. And hopefully... Um, Everyone who watches this video and my others uh, like it and um, are pretty satisfied with what I do. Like I said, I'm going to do a new restaurant each time. I have some special coming up that I'll be doing this week, something different from my previous things. You may watch this video before then or after so you'll know. But um, I look forward to definitely showing that to you. That is pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to answer your questions. And thanks for watching. I know everybody's time is valuable. And I greatly appreciate it. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Okay. Thanks, everybody. I hope everyone has a good day. And again, thanks for watching. Bye, YouTube. Bye.